I didn't record audio for this entire part, did I? Oh my god, I hate this this recording system. That was that was flipping amazing though. I will probably do a voiceover uh, when I record this later though. So that was this was the first one I recorded uh, to demonstrate this. Wow. Okay. Um, wow. Okay, welcome back once again to what I'm calling Deck Inspector. Hey, check out my deck. And uh, today we're talking about uh, the super fun circus deck of the Cult of Rectos. They're a crazy bunch of guys who like to entertain you. And that's that's their motto. Entertain me. Let us entertain you. It's all black right now. This is fun. Darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Okay, so let's check out Rakdos. Um, I gotta admit, Rakdos is a fun. Eh, it's it's not fun. Um, a lot of the decks, the precon decks they give you, are interesting, but they do uh, sometimes leave you wanting. Uh, I had to tweak the uh, Liliana's Legion deck a little bit. Added another Liliana. Hey, guess what? It plays a lot better with a couple of Lilianas. Uh, so, this deck works one out of three times, um, but it's it's a little bit it's a lot of math work. Uh, but it's they're fun cards to look at, but actually actual gameplay can be a bit much. So bring some scratch paper. Uh, so let's let's start at the low end. Um, always a crowd pleaser. We've got shock. Uh, one mana cost uh, does two damage to any target. And that's always uh, great for getting rid of their little. Uh, annoying flying critters that come out early uh, there's the footlight fiend I love the, the artwork on this little devil with a candle on his head burning it at both ends there uh, when he dies he deals one damage to any target very handy a lot of that in here a lot of indirect damage uh, and the spear spewer man uh, it's hard to wrap your head around this uh, you tap it, it deals one damage to each player. So you and your opponent take a point of damage. But there's a reason for that. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, here's... I only got one of these guys in here. It would be nice to have another one, but they're kind of rare. I've never gotten him to, out to do anything with because most people see him as a, uh, as a tasty target. Uh, the Dreadhorde Butcher. Uh, uh, he's a creature, zombie warrior. Whenever Dreadhorde Butcher, it's hard to say. Whenever Dreadhorde Butcher deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker, you put a 1-1 one, one counter on Dreadhorde Butcher. When he dies, it deals damage equal to its power. So in theory, if you could get it out and let it run around, run rampant for a little while, it'd be great. But I'm yet to be able to get it out and not just be instantly chomped by anything on the board. Uh, there's the Cult Guild Mage. A handy little fella to have. Uh, human shaman. Uh, he looks like he's having fun. The uh, the little puppet there he's got. That's uh, Jace, the planeswalker. Uh, you can get a puppet of that in the game. I've never seen anyone with it because it's kind of expensive. I don't think uh, a lot of people. I don't know. Some people probably have the gold to spend. I I've never seen anybody with it ever. Uh, he plays three and a black. Uh, target player discards a card. Uh, one, uh, he deals one damage to target, uh, yet another card, that's three cards we've seen now, I think, at least, that deal indirect damage to another player. Why would that be? Uh, well, we're going to find out when we look at, um, not this card, uh, Bedevil, uh, there are a lot of, uh, a lot of Bede cards in here, Bedevil, uh, great art there, destroy target artifact creature, planeswalk, always handy to have. Uh, the Theater of Horrors. There's the Diva herself. I love that. Look at that. It looks like Cirque du Soleil in Hell there. That's that's where you get into the entertainment thing here. Uh, to begin your upkeep, exile the top card of your library. During your turn, if an opponent lost life this turn, you may play lands and cast spells from among the cards exiled in the Theater of Horrors. Yet again, where this comes in handy with that indirect damage. Uh, you pay three and a red. Theater of Horrors deals one damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Again, more indirect damage. And when we get to Skewer the Critics, which I think is a great name for a card, wonderful card, uh, we'll see why, because it has something called Spectacle, and Spectacle is a an activated ability, or a, a, I can't think of what to call these, it's, an, it's, an, it's a thing the Critters got on them. Uh, you may cast a spell for its Spectacle cost rather than its mana cost if an opponent lost life this turn, so if you, if you use your Footlight Fiend or 
uh, theater of horror, something to one point of damage to your uh, your opponent. You only have to pay one mana, the spectacle cost, and to deal three damage to any target rather than three mana. So, and then a lot of cards in the deck have that, and that spectacle, of course, goes along with the theater theatrical nature of the deck. Uh, then we have light up the stage. Uh, also love that demons out there uh, getting things ready. Uh, exile the top two cards of your library until the next end of your turn. You may play those cards. That's very handy. I've, I actually use this one sometimes. Uh, uh, let's see. We got here Murder, which, which again, classic card, does what it says. Uh, Rectos Roustabout. Um, whenever Rectos Roustabout becomes blocked, it deals one damage to the player or planeswalker it's attacking. So once again, indirect damage. So a lot of uh, multiplicative stuff. And th this sounds like a fun deck, and I've never gotten anything <laughs> interesting out of these cards uh, that, that it's supposed to play with like this. Uh, the Mayhem Devil, whenever a player sacrifices a permanent Mayhem Devil, deals one damage to any target. I, I'm, it's rare for people to do that. I, I, th I don't think I've ever gotten the Mayhem Devil out either. It's one of these decks where I, like, I see um, certain cards all the time, but for some reason I see her all the time, the Hacrobat. I get her out all the time. Uh, very handy. Uh, has Spectacle. Acrobat gains Death Touch. If you pay one black mana, red mana, it gets plus two, minus two. Becomes a four, one creature. That's a very interesting mechanic. I see her a lot. Judith, the Scourge Diva. She's so great. Uh, other, She's a great buff uh, legendary creature. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus zero. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies... Judith, uh, the Scourge Diva, deals one damage to any target. Yet again, once again, more indirect damage. Um, and then we move on to the Rectos Firewheeler. I think a lovely card. I use this guy a lot. He comes in handy. When he enters the battlefield, it deals two damage to your opponent. Again, indirect damage. And deals two damage up, up to one target creature or planeswalker. So basically two for one. It comes out, hits your opponent, hits one of their creatures. Nice little field clearer. Spawn of Mayhem. Uh, I kind of have a love-hate relationship for this guy. Because I've gotten him out, I think, all of one time playing this deck. Maybe twice. And he, he, he lasts all of a second as soon as he hits the, the table. Uh, and he's just uh, automatically removed. Which is weird to me. <laughs> considering uh, his passive abilities. He has flying. He has trample. Double threat there. Spectacle cost. Not great. Uh, at the beginning of my upkeep, uh, the Spawn of Mayhem deals one damage to each player, and if I have ten or less life, you, he gets a 1-1 one, one counter. So slowly but surely, you can start building him up, but he never seems to last long uh, when I play. So uh, Then we have Blade Juggler, uh, another card I swear I've never gotten out of <laughs> onto the board. Uh, when Blade Juggler enters the battlefield, it deals one damage to you, and you draw a card. So handy, maybe helps you with the, the Spawn of Mayhem. Uh, Carnival and Carnage, one of those double cards. Uh, Carnival deals one damage to our creature or planeswalker, and one damage to that permanent controller. Again, indirect damage. Uh, Carnage, uh, or maybe it's direct damage. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm using it the word incorrectly. Anyway, Carnage. I love the <laughs> some great art there. Uh, Carnage deals three damage to your target opponent. That player discards two card. I like that. Uh, then we have Bedeck and Bedazzle, which goes well with Bedevil. Uh, I love the deck. Great art there of the uh, Judith, the diva, getting all dolled up. Target creature gets plus three, minus three until end of turn. And Bedazzle, destroy target non-basic land. Bedazzle deals two damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Again, more of that direct, indirect damage. I need a little I love the aesthetics of the deck. Uh, like I said, it's not a fun deck, really. I, I think it needs some tweaking. Um... And we'll see what we can do with it. I'm sure there are other interesting Rakdos cards out there um, that could we could. Let me just look at crafting. Uh, there's the Rakdos Trumpeter, uh, but this deck is mostly built around pumping things up with indirect damage. Ah, oh, there's the Showstopper. Love to have this guy. You know, uh, <laughs> I've had him played against me before. Um, that that would be an interesting one to have in here. I've already spent my Mythic Rare uh, this week working on my Green Eggs deck, so that's that's good enough for that. So let's let's go to the field and uh, we'll try this out and see uh, what we can do.
over the Cult of Rakdos deck and see how she is played. Okay, uh, so the opening hand is good. I actually did get the um, the Overlord. I can't. It's hard for me to see the uh, the cards as it is. Um, so I got a pretty good opening hand. Got some good mana. I got that uh, Overlord guy. This guy's friendly. He's like, hello, how are you doing? So um, I'm start with the mountain. Got a planes out. A couple of planes. Swamp. I got my. Uh, Dude, he actually has haste. I didn't realize that until I played him here. Yep. Comes out and immediately attacks. I love that chain animation. It took me when I first played this deck, yeah, pacified him, of course. Loves to pacify the white decks, which doesn't really matter uh, with this deck. A lot of indirect damage, as I said before. Uh, but yeah, that chain animation, the first time I saw that, I freaked out. I thought it was something the my opponent was doing. I'd never seen it before. So, I, I, this is one of those decks I don't see a lot of people play this deck. I've seen it, like, maybe one other time. Uh, there's that guy. He's great. <laughs> um, Roustabout, I think, which, uh, yeah, he put him in the Rapunzel's Tower, so he can't do anything. So, those two are out of the game. Hey, I got the murder card. And you're actually going to see I do end up doing a lot of the, uh, eventually start using the spectacle mechanic. And I really, I felt like I actually learned a lot about this, just talking about it. There's the fencer. Hate that guy because he does double strike. And I always forget that and and kind of fool up and foul up and end up getting myself killed with it. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to silence his criticism. No, naysayer. Uh, that's a great little card handy to have. So I attack with him. Little Dean there. Got some 16. Chain, chain, chains. Uh, nice little mana. Get a little, get a little health. And I got a mountain. Climb every mountain. Tap every mountain. Uh, I've got nothing to do. What am I going to do? Uh, oh, I got the uh, that guy out. He's great. Okay, this is where the mechanic starts to kick in. Um, with the, uh, the puppeteer there. I can't think of his name. Can't see the screen well uh, to do this re recording. Oh yeah, that's that's uh, the saga enchantment. It does like it, it's an enchantment that goes off every turn for three turns. It's really neat. Those are neat. Okay, so in this turn, I'm gonna use uh, use the spectacle, uh, use his ability to beat my opponent for a point, and then get my juggalo uh, jug uh, blade juggalo out. Uh, he comes out. And we both. I get a point of damage. We draw a card. I got the diva. Very handy. Uh, he brings his little dude out there. Aww. Very nice. I love there's so many animations. When I first started playing this again, I didn't notice so many animations, but since I've been playing it on a regular basis, of course, I'm noticing more and more. Uh, once again, I'm going to... Let's see. Oh, I get Judith out. Everybody gets a plus one. Uh, let's see what I'm going to do here. I'm going to attack with these two guys. I'm luring him with a trick, I guess, I don't know. Okay. He didn't do anything, he kept him from trying to see what he's going to do. Looks like he's got a 2-2 two -two out. And uh, this is the first game I played uh, after doing the uh, deck, uh, deck review. Uh, an enchantment, bumps it, bumps his little dude up, good for him. Uses more mana, draws another card. Oh, and it's my turn. Got light up the stage. Light up a chump like a vandal. Okay, I'm gonna use this guy, being my opponent, uh, to enable spectacle cost. Uh, and I'm gonna silence the critics on that cat there. And that will leave me enough mana, I believe, to do a murder in on his little friend there. And that leaves him with the 1-1 Princess card in my path. And I'll have them attack. Juggalo and Madiva. 
Gets him down to a five. And things are about to get interesting, let me tell you. point of damage. This is where it goes crazy. This is all the narration I need to do. But yeah, the uh, the card he played there kill, destroyed every creature on the screen. Uh, when the Dreadhorde Butcher dies, it does damage equals to its power. And when Judith, when Judith, when Judith, when she goes up, when everything else was killed, she does one point of damage for every creature killed to my opponent. So I guess he was going to lose anyway, but that was a really spectacular way to go out. And I do appreciate him giving me a real showstopper to this video, so to speak. Thanks for entertaining me.